Hey everyone, welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we built. Today's project blends Wi-Fi graphics and web interactivity into one creative build. What if you could draw anything from your phone or tablet and have it instantly appear on the OLED display powered by an ESP32? Well, that's exactly what we are building today. A touch drawing web app hosted right from the ESP32 itself. Now this project was requested by our amazing community like Young Bot Academy, Shivraj, Sajit, Shahraz. If you love projects like this, drop your ideas in the comments. Your request will be the next one. Now let's dive right in. To build the wireless touch drawing board, you will need one ESP32 dev board, one OLED display, 128 by 64, jumper wires, one micro USB cable. Let's connect the OLED display to the ESP32. Connect the VCC of the OLED to the 3.3V on ESP. Connect the GND to the GND of ESP. Connect its SCL to GPIO 22. Connect its SDA to GPIO 21. These are the default I2C pin on most ESP32 boards. Double check your connection using the circuit diagram on the screen before powering up. Now download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code and library files if you already downloaded the Arduino SDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. Now we have included Wi-Fi and web server libraries to create a local server and Adafruit libraries to control the OLED display. We define the width and height of the OLED screen and initialize the display object using I2C communication. We create a web server object that listens on port 80 which is the default for HTTP. Now replace these with your Wi-Fi name and password so the ESP32 can connect to your network. This 2D array stores the on-off status of each pixel on the display. This function sends an HTML page with a canvas. When you draw on the canvas, it sends pixel data to USB32 using HTTP request. Now this function reads the pixel coordinates from the URL and marks the corresponding pixel as true in the buffer. This resets the pixel buffer and clears the OLED display. We start serial communication and initialize the OLED display. We clear any previous display data. Now USB32 connects to Wi-Fi and prints the IP address to the serial monitor. We define the route to handle route, draw and clear request and start the server. Now this checks for incoming HTTP request and handles them. This refreshes the OLED screen every 100 milliseconds by drawing all the pixel marked through in the buffer. So that's it. Now we will upload the code to the ESP32. Plug your ESP32 into the computer using the USB cable. Select the correct port, which is ESP32 dev module. Then go to the tools. Select the port where your USB32 is connected. Let's say COM4. And make sure to replace the Wi-Fi name and password here. It's very important. Now click the upload button and the right facing arrow. If you see connecting dot dots appear, just hold down the boot button until it starts uploading. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 115 to 00. Now very soon you will see message like connecting to Wi-Fi dot dot. And then Wi-Fi connected and IP address will be there. Note down your IP address, open your device browser and type the same IP address in the address bar in any web browser on the same Wi-Fi network. Now you will now see the canvas where you can draw and every stroke will reflect instantly on the OLED display. This is a super fun demo, you know, digital sketchpad or even starting point for the creative IoT apps. So if you like this project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such exciting DIY projects with RoboArm.